That, my friends, is the reason right there that I broke down. <laughs>
Um, we're looking for about 12.7, something like that, for a good battery. Uh, we'll start the bike up and we'll see if there's any voltage coming in to the uh, bike um, through the uh, stator and rectifier. Uh, we're looking for 13 volts plus, really, sort of um, maximum 14.2, something like that. So in order to test to see whether we've got voltage coming into the battery, we're going to need one of these. And this is a multimeter. Um, what we need to do, is we'll take the plugs out. You need to put one in the common, which on here is the middle one, COM, and the other one on the voltage sign. Um, this here, if you see, is, is, is an ampage. We don't need the ampage, that's the current. We need the voltage. So we'll put it in there. There we go. And there's loads of different settings around here. But what we need is the V with uh, like a, a broken line and then a solid line on top of it. And we're going to put that on 20 because we're not expecting to see anything more than 14, 15 volts. So the CON, the common, is the negative. Just the black on the battery. So we have 11, 12.2. So that's a reasonably charged battery. I'm happy with that. So what we do now is we'll start it up and we're looking for a charge which is obviously above the 12.3. If uh, we've got 15, 16, it's most likely the uh, rectifier has gone. If it's under that, then it's most likely this data. So here we go. Just fire the old trigger up. Right, you can see that we didn't have anywhere near a charge on that. So the next thing to do is, although we have our suspicions, we'll check all the, the wiring to make sure nothing's come off. No connectors are loose, that sort of thing. These tigers are known for burning out their rectifier connections, um, which are, the rectifier is down here, behind there. So we'll need to check all of these connections. Right, so I've uh, checked all of the connections and I can't find anything that looks vaguely suspicious. Um, all the connectors on the rectifier look okay, so I, I think, like I say, it's the stator that's at, at fault here. So it's a really easy, simple test for the stator, so that's what we're going to go and do now. So the condition is everything's off, but the battery remains um, connected to the bike. So this is the stator housing here. Coming out of the top of the stator housing are three wires, and each one corresponds to a phase. So three phases are coming out of the uh, stator. It then uh, goes into this block here which connects to the regulator and rectifier so then it rectifies the three phase into DC uh, direct current, current and then uh, the regulator decides how much to put into the battery. So in order to test to see whether our stator is gone we need to find out what voltage uh, is on each of the phases. So what we need to do is we need to disconnect it, put a meter on each one of these terminals and then to a grounding point on the frame or the battery to see whether we've got any DC, uh, any, sorry, AC voltage. So we're looking for alternating current out of each one of these connectors that are more or less the same. So we're looking for about 23 volts, I would say, something like that. Right, with our meter, we need to set it up so we can um, run the test with uh, alternating current. So with the uh, probes in the same um, holes as before, we've got the one in common and one in the voltage, not in the amp side, in the voltage side. Uh, and you need to turn the dial um, onto the section with a V, which is voltage, and a squiggly line above it, which is the uh, alternating current. So um, we'll do that. On this one, it's at 200. So we're looking for uh, alternating current around there. I've set the meter up so hopefully you can see it there. We're going to uh, run the test with the engine on. We'll put uh, this probe, the common, 
on the negative side of the battery. Uh, use a crocodile clip or wedge it in there somehow. And then with this uh, block here, the one that comes out of the top of the stator, the one with the three phases in it, we're going to test across each phase, just like this, and look at the voltage. Each single phase should have the same, roughly, the same voltage on it. So we're looking for about 23, um, uh, 23 volts uh, AC. Right, so there we go, we've got uh, 21 to 23 on one phase, 0 on the next phase, and 18 on the phase after that. So that indicates that one phase isn't working and the other one is, is a little low. So it is pointing toward the stator being the problem as to why um, the battery won't charge as opposed to the regulator. So we now need to take each one of these off and um, pop the side of the, the stator cover and what we will see I think when we, we take it off is we're going to see um, a stator with some, some windings and connections that have gone blank which indicates high resistance and a burn through. Ooh, there's the alarm. So we, we'll take one off by one. Now, I think you're going to get some oil residue. Um, and when you do this and take this off, you're going to need another gasket as well. Just make sure as well when you take the the bolts off, but they're not in any specific order. Because if they are, and you don't mark which way, uh, which way they come off, you're going to have a problem. Now, when all this is off, it's unlikely that it's going to come off with a lot of ease. So you'll probably have to tap it off. Try and use a rubber mallet. I, for years, resisted the rubber mallet, but they are brilliant. If you haven't got one, use a block of wood and a hammer, light taps. But remember, I'm not a mechanic, so I don't trust a word I'm saying. Just seen that case move. Well, 
Right, what do you reckon then? That well, case is moving really quite well, to be honest. I reckon that's going to come off all right. Maybe at the same ease of uh, removal. I don't know, it's about to see. Too soon. Ooh. There we go. You can feel a bit of resistance from the magnet inside. Right, what have we got here then? Ooh. There we are, look. That, my friends, is the reason right there that I broke down. High resistance black joint, that's, that's it there. So what we now need to do, really, is take all these bolts off, get a replacement unit, bolt it back on, repeat a few tests, and then um, job's good. Right, so here's our stator. I thought we'd just uh, we'd take it off to see what it looks like. Three Allen key bolts, not too bad. There we go. One more. Oh, there's a retaining screw for the um, uh, for there. Can you see that? It's come off. Um, retaining screw for the uh, for the, the cable to keep it out of the way. This theta. All I do, I take it all off, and then you've got a good idea of uh, of what the whole process looks like. I'm awfully badly prepared for this and I haven't got the right uh, Allen key. So bear with me, I'll be back. I've got a socket, it's a bit of an overkill, but uh, short notice. So we just. Uh, Lost the WG40 can. It did serve its country well, though. Right, so this is now coming off. That's the retainer. So that retainer looks like that. Bolts in, keeps the cable out the way. And the whole thing should just now there we go, pop off. Cool. So this is it, the stator. Produces three phase electricity into um, a rectifier, which rectifies it from AC, alter, uh, alternating current, into direct current. And then the uh, rectifier decides how much should come in and uh, top ups, tops up the battery. So on here, we can see we've got high resistance point there. And that, the, that will be the bit that's gone, I'd imagine. So what we need to do is buy another one of these reverse the process and enjoy biking. Hope this helps and uh, remember I'm not a mechanic. Right, so we've uh, solved it. We now know it's the stator that's not working. Uh, we first of all uh, tested the uh, condition of the battery to make sure there's enough charge in it. I uh, started the bike up, found out if there was any charge coming into it, uh, there wasn't. Uh, we then checked all the connections to see whether the connections to the stator, to the regulator rectifier had melted and shorted out or something like that, but we couldn't find any problems. Um, and then we moved on to test the output of the stator. Um, from finding uh, one phase low and one phase not present, we concluded that there must have been some sort of issue with the uh, 
this data. Um, therefore, we took off the, the side of the, the, uh, the engine panel or the engine cover um, and uh, visually inspected the stator and found that there's a high resistance area on one of the phases, which is the last nail in the coffin for the stator. Um, from there, we need to order another one up um, and don't forget to, to clean up both surfaces of the, the cover and the engine and uh, buy fresh gasket, whack it back on, torque it up nice and gently and uh, enjoy your biking. Hope this helps and uh, thank you very much. Bye-bye.